Earlier this spring, the Baldwin County Recreation Center started a six-week renovation process on their public gymnasium. The renovations included updating the basketball court floor, replacing the old bleachers with new metal seating, repainting the walls, and other various projects to modernize the outdated facility. We spoke with the director of the Baldwin County Community Center, Bill McNair, about the project. We were basically just uh, redesigning the gym. Uh, back in the days we had 12 uh, courts, or actually 12 goals that, uh, that were in the, the ceiling in this building. But what we're going to do now is we're going to have six goals and we're going to basically have a 94 by 50 court, which is a regulation size court down the middle. Uh, we'll still have our side courts on the side, which will be high school regulation, which is 84 by 50. And then um, hopefully we'll have um, all the other amenities, especially like the shot clocks and everything else that'll go with the, uh, the, the buildings. McNair says that the project on the 40-year-old facility will cost around $200,000. The money will come from a sales tax that has been collected over the past five years. This investment has sparked rumors of whether or not this money should be going towards the gymnasium with other issues like crime and roadway damages afflicting the county. McNair, however, wants to combat these concerns, saying in a phone interview that, we are trying to keep the kids busy and off the streets to keep them from getting into something they should not be doing. There are gangs and drug dealers that could be taking care of these kids, but that's not where you want them. You want them in a safe environment. We spoke to Rachel Knowles, who has been a part of the Milledgeville community with her family since the early 2000s, who expresses the same beliefs as McNair. When my daughter um, was in 4-H, when she was um, in school at um, JMA and GMC, we would go over there sometimes and have events, and it, it was pretty run down even back then. Like McNair, Knowles believes that this upgrade is not only a renovation on the gymnasium, but also on the community. Well, I certainly believe that idle hands are the devil's workshop. I mean, I think we all need to be busy. I mean, not just younger people, but middle-aged people, older people. I think that if, if you're busy, it, it's, it's good for your mental health. I think $200,000 is a penance to invest in, in children and their futures. McNair says that construction on the gymnasium will be completed on May 15th, when it will be reopened to the public. For GC360, I'm Doug Kime.